Hello and welcome back to The Breakfast Show. Okay, it's time to bring on our final guest this morning. And whether you're 17 or 70, you'll definitely recognize his voice. Some of you have probably also seen him on stage or running a restaurant, mm. while others most likely read his blog, Nyama. <laughs> now, in 2011, he adds author to his very long resume. Ladies and gentlemen, here to talk about his book, Theology or Theology. Please welcome Patrick Teo. Hey, welcome Hello, to the show, morning. Patrick. Thank you. Thank you. And um, that must be the first time anybody has pronounced the name of the book as Theology. As hmm. theo theology, theology. Yes. <laughs> but Theology will work as well. <laughs> so tell us oh, what oh, is... Oh, wait. Um, <laughs> before we came on air, mm. I actually shook your hand, didn't I? Yes, and I And after into what it. the good doctor has been telling us all this time... I should have, have done that, right? Share with you, okay, okay, now you can... Okay. Mm. No. okay. <laughs> but are these, these are just some of the typical Malaysian behaviours that you talk about <laughs> yes. in your book. Tell us about, the, about this. Well, Theology is actually a compilation of a magazine column that I used to write for a magazine called um, Off the Edge. Mm -hmm. um, it, it always appeared on the last page of the monthly magazine. And Theology was actually a uh, piece of writing that sort of uh, was the typical rant of an average Malaysian who mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. who looks at things that happens uh, uh, around in the country and uh, um, says what's on his mind, mm -hmm. right? And the name theology was actually coined by a good friend of mine who, who, when we were thinking about a title for the column, said, you know, Patrick, you've been around, you know, the scene since year dot. So, and, and everybody has listen to you on the radio and you're talking always about this and that and the other so in a way you are sort of like you almost have a religious following <laughs> so instead of theology we should call it theology and that's how the name stuck for the column and um, well obviously it, 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 it caught the imagination of the readers who liked mm. it mm -hmm. and uh, unfortunately after five five and a half years I think the magazine uh, had to to close due to whatever reasons. And after the magazine closed, the publisher, uh, ZI Publish Publications, approached me and said, Patrick, instead of your columns lying idle in on the shelves, uh, would you like them, like us to publish them into a book? And I said, yeah, why not? Okay. I, well, at first I didn't say why not, because I was thinking, publish into a book. That would mean that people would say to me, wow, Patrick, now you're an author, idea. <laughs> And then I would have to explain to them, no, uh, I'm not an author, I just, they just compile my monthly columns. Then I thought about it for about two hours and I said, why not? Okay. Oh, okay. Mm. Yeah. So are every single one of your articles in the book, or did you pick, did you get to choose which ones you'd um, like to publish? I think the book contains all the columns that were ever oh, printed. Oh, so these are all your Hoffman. rants over the years, yes, Patrick. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. What are some of the things that you rant about yes. in the book? Well, I rant about all sorts of things, actually. Mm -hmm. um, I rant about things that matter to an average Malaysian. What do Malaysians talk about when mm. they sit around a mama stall? They will grumble about the bus, uh, the LRT, uh, how expensive it is uh, for Tay Tarek, stuff like that. And whether mm. they like this particular politician or don't like that particular there you politician. Go. You're not so always so politically correct, of course, in your I, I, I try to be. Uh, <laughs> Just, uh, Have you ever, you know, gotten into trouble or gotten comments from media like, oh, you know, that's still not Malaysian? Well, I've gotten a lot of comments from people who read the column or who used to listen to my radio program and they mm. say, uh, Patrick, you cannot say that because it's not Malaysian. I mean, I, I really don't understand what it is to be not Malaysian. Yeah. <laughs> is it not Malaysian to tell you the truth? Like, if you're ugly, I'd say... <laughs> You know, you're you okay don't la, look you know? really very good, you know. Um, you have a nice voice, that's yeah. what you say. <laughs> I mean, that, maybe that's, that's, not, that's not a good example. Like, for example, <laughs> um, a better example would be, like, it's typically Malaysian to say, hey, you come to my house huh, on Sunday for lunch. Hey, sure, I sure go on, sure, sure, sure. And you don't turn and up. And then you don't turn up. Mm. Mm. But for me to get angry with you and say, what the... It's not Malaysian. But for you to break your word and not show up after you've said that you would is very Malaysian. 
So I find that a little bit strange. Mm -hmm. um, so the other Malaysian I, thing is also mm -hmm. uh, being late. Oh yes, turning up a half an hour, an hour late. Malaysian, so half an hour has become Malaysian time. Malaysians actually are never late, right? <laughs> Malaysians are always on the way. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you? On the, the way. way. <laughs> actually, on yeah, the they're way. thinking, oh, I forgot already. But on the way, don't worry. <laughs> Round the corner is another I'll very good one. I'll be there Malaysian time. Yeah. Uh -huh. Now, have you always, you know, how, when did you start writing, actually? When did I start writing? Um, well, I, I started writing on the internet when I started my blog, mm -hmm. uh, which, which is a little bit older than my columns in Off the Edge. I think after uh, so many years on radio, mm. I finally stopped doing radio in about 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. And after I went off the radio, I... <laughs> I had this this uh, Patrick Teoness, this theology, all cooked up inside with nowhere to go. <laughs> so <an> outlet. <laughs> then the internet happened and blogging happened and and a friend of mine, a very young blogger friend of mine, said, "Patrick, you've got a new platform. Start a blog." So I did, and that at that time I was already in my late fifties and my and my. Uh, Peers would say, hey, Patrick, you serious? Uh, your old man can do blogging. Uh. <laughs> and I was quite apprehensive, apprehensive about it at first. But when I got onto it, I found it very really easy mm. to set up a blog. And I started writing, um, basically doing what I used to do on Malaysian radio before, which is raving and ranting about things that an average Malaysian feels strongly about. Uh, and uh, I started writing a blog. Mm -hmm. And I want to say that today, the 18th of January 2011 on NTV7's breakfast show is the very first time that the word Nyama has been uttered on Malaysian TV. Thank you. Twice now. Twice. <laughs> Fantastic. Now, any plans of um, converting all your blog entries into a, blo a book, maybe Theology Part 2? Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> Okay, Patrick, but you know, 15 years after you've come off the edge, 2011, mm -hmm. what ticks you off today? Well, yeah, I get asked that question a lot. What mm. ticks you off, Patrick? It's not what ticks Patrick Teo off. It's what what upsets Malaysian, the, the ordinary Joe, the rakyat, the people who are, you know, mm. who come to work like mm. yourselves, like the cameraman, the floor manager. We work for a salary. This is our country. We, are, we were born here, we pay our taxes, we love our country. What really makes us angry is when we see things that don't work, how our money is being wasted, how um, certain aspects of our country uh, is being mismanaged and so on and so forth. Mm -hmm. It may not be earth-shattering things like, mm. you know, uh, changing government or no, but it's, it's so things nice. like public transportation. You know, I wait for an hour and a half, my bus doesn't show up, yeah. you know. I, I get on an LRT, LRT and I, it doesn't connect to the other LRT to get where I want to go. And, you know, my, my kid's school doesn't even have a good library. And the English teacher doesn't speak English. You know, stuff like that, mm -hmm. which every Malaysian, I think, would be very concerned about. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, so now you said you are launching your book officially on this yes. Saturday. Yes, officially this Saturday, mm -hmm. Theology will be launched at 2 o'clock in the afternoon and it will be launched at the popular bookstore at Ikano Power Center, Mutiara Damansara. Okay, make sure you're Don't there. Know the and this is open to the public? Yes, of course. Anyone can turn up. So are you going to be doing a reading? Uh, yes, I shall be doing a reading. I shall be signing autographs, if you want them, that is. And uh, uh, also, um, maybe if you bring your, your camera, we can take photos and all that. All right. Mm. Now, talk a little bit about um, your reading. So, of course, mm. you'll be picking a few articles mm. from the book mm -hmm. that probably are your favourites. Mm -hmm. So, maybe you could share with us, you know, um, among the... How many articles do you have in here? You see, uh, I haven't really decided which article I would like to read. Uh, mm -hmm. But just to give you an idea of what uh, the titles are, uh, the first uh, chapter is called No Money, No Talk. Um, one of them is called Definitely, Maybe. Uh, <laughs> and then we have things like You Deva. You know, um, then there's another article called uh, uh, Relax a bit. <laughs> That's one of the columns. So I don't know whether which one I'll be reading, but one of them, you know. 
It, this book, Theologies, is, like I said, a collection of the columns. It's, a, it's very light reading, really. Right. I mean, if, if, if you have really nothing to do, you could finish this book um, in half a day, sitting on the toilet or something. Which is the recommended place to put this, actually. <laughs> in the loo. Not in the loo, but beside the loo, so that when you go and do your morning constitution or whatever, <laughs> you pick it up and read it, and it'll set you up for the day. There you go, put you in the right place. <laughs> but Patrick, right now, actually, we've decided if if um, if you would you like to leave this copy behind for us. Because oh, we course. get you to autograph it yes, course, and give it, it away to one lucky viewer. So oh, if you do that okay. for us. So this is authentic. One of our producers didn't scribble Patrick's uh -huh. name on it. Okay. So, pen. so this will be given to uh, one of the viewers? Yes. yes. Ah, we'll, we'll okay. And uh, nice. I'll create a question for you right now. So all you have to do is email us okay. at tbs at ntv7.com.my mm -hmm. and tell us... So what is it? What's the question? What Patrick Chio's website is called, or rather blog is called. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, we said it twice mm -hmm. on, uh, on the first We won't risk it by ever. saying it no, three we times. Won't, we won't. But we'll have you email it to us. Yes. Of course, and you'll, you'll stand a chance uh, walking away with theology. Signed, of course, yes. by the author himself, Patrick yeah. Teo. <laughs> Great, thank you so much, Patrick, thank and all the very best me. with the book lodge. <laughs> okay, yes, and now best. I shall return the germs to you. Oh, thank you very <laughs> much. It is a, an honor to have Patrick to your germs. Thank, thank you, you so much. All right, we need to take a quick break. We'll see yes, you in two. See you in a bit.